So just looking at Italy, who are the fastest qualifiers across the two semi-finals. They'll go in lane number four, Carboncini and Monatti. They were fourth at the World Championships last year in this event. And a new crew to watch out, Hungary in lane number five. They were seventh in the men's coxless pairs in the under-23 World Championships last year. Shown great form, Germany in six. Under starter's orders. Hungary, Germany, attention. Two outstanding crews in the world today, the men's costless pairs. One of them is here, Peter Reed and Andy Hodge for Great Britain in lane number three, being dumped off the start in the first ten strokes by the rest of the world. New Zealand, the reigning world champions, are not hit. The other outstanding pair. So really, for Great Britain, it's all about putting a big marker down, sending a message to the other side of the world. Netherlands one, top of the pitcher, in lane number one. Greece in lane two. Great Britain in three. Italy, the fastest qualifiers across the two semi-finals, are in lane number four. Hungary, the new under-23 boat, in lane number five and Germany in lane number six and surprising for Great Britain Dan just to be uh, caught napping in the first ten strokes just gives them a little bit more to do to get back on terms you know this was beginning to show a little bit in the British trials uh, a month ago where they, they the pair were not that dominant um, compared to some of the other British pairs Tom James who's just come back uh, he was second in those trials but they're moving now I think they've got their stride they've stretched out here and they've really got to dominate this group because they know that waiting in the wings there are New Zealand who will give them a tremendous uh, 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 rivalry again this season so as we look at the uh, technique the first time they've had a long hard winters training Great Britain coming up through the 500 meter mark it's all about power, low intensity, both on the water, high intensity in the gym. That's Jürgen Grobler, their coach's way. And Great Britain now leading through the first timing mark. I think they were aware that they took it off pretty, pretty slowly there. And, uh, and uh, I think they just thought, we've got to get a grip of this now. And they made a really big push. They had 36 strokes a minute, and they went right through the field there in about uh, 30, 35 strokes. That was pretty impressive because they took, they've taken a length now out of Italy, who were heading them uh, earlier on in this race. Coaches that follow on the far side on their bikes just shows you the level of interest in this event. We're looking at Andy Hodge from Molsey Boat Club, Peter Reed from Leander Club, the crew that have really suffered 12 consecutive defeats at the hands of New Zealand. They got close last year at the World Championships at Lake Carapiro, and they made a very, very brave decision to carry on again this year. For that, you, you just have to applaud it. Just compare the rating, uh, rates of striking um, uh, with Greece and uh, Great Britain. Great Britain at 36, they're quite long, quite steady, and Greece really whacking along at 38 and a half strokes a minute, trying to get on terms there. Uh, that's very, very uh, um, intense, and uh, I think Greece will probably pay for it a little bit in the last 500 meters or so. But they're certainly keeping up the fight. Great Britain stretching out, good length, boat running very nicely, and letting the boat run much better than they were doing last year, in a way. They've got the boat, it's not bouncing at anything like it was last year. One thing that uh, Peter Reed and Andy Hodge will have to watch out for in the third 500 metres will be the Italians of Lorenzo Carboncini and Nicola Morinati in lane number four. We're through the halfway mark now, we're into the third 500, and Great Britain have just put a massive push down here. They've lifted up the raid by two pips here. They're moving the hands away around the back, out of the finish, and you can see now they're just starting to squeeze on. And again, that's one of Jürgen Grobler, their coach's trademarks. Wait to the thousand meters and then put a huge push on but they've opened up clear water but going with them lane two Greece the Kutalis brothers and Italy Carboncini and Monati in lane number four it's now three boats that have broken free from the chasing group but Greece now shortening up I think that 38 and a half strokes a minute that they were doing in the middle of the race there has really uh, begun to hurt them they're up there still fighting hard the twins and it's uh, they're finding it very very difficult uh, Greece are putting them, uh, Italy are putting them under pressure now. Italy have come up to just about level pegging with them, and uh, that's really going to be uh, the, a telling point here 
500 meters from the finish, but no, no one's going to stop Great Britain right out in front. Still, you know, they're still not quite as far out as I would expect them to be. If they were thinking of their, uh, of their New Zealand competitors, you'd expect that they would be further out in front, battling it out with New Zealand. Psychologically, Great Britain's Peter Reid and Andy Hodge will be relieved to be out front, back on top of the medal podium, but they know really there's only one crew that matters. We're through 1,500, we've got 500 metres to remain, remaining, and Great Britain now moving out, but still being chased by Italy's Carboncini and Monati. For Great Britain, though, it's all about getting back on top, back into that first place position, laying down a marker. The time is immaterial here. Slight tailwind, good conditions, but it's all about laying a marker between them and the rest of the world so that New Zealand know when they come and join us. I think New Zealand are coming at Hamburg at the next World Cup regatta in three weeks' time, that there really will be a race on. Well, they saw that Italy was moving up on them. They made a, they responded to that. They've, gone, they've stretched out again, and uh, they've taken another half a length. Right at the back there, Germany and Hungary having a real struggle. New members, really, to this, uh, to, to, to this event. Um, and uh, really finding it pretty tough because out in front, Great Britain moving now ahead by nearly two lengths. Great Britain have about 20 strokes remaining in this final of the men's heavyweight coxless pairs. It's the first World Cup regatta of the 2011 series and the British crew are going really according to plan here. They're still pushing on, so they're obviously moving hard for a time here. Look at the gap here. You would have thought they would just stretched it out a little bit, so they're pushing on for the line. They're being chased hard, but won't be caught by Italy in lane number four. Greece in lane two have also been punished here in the second 1,000 metres, as the British crew now just come up to the line. Still, they keep the raid high, and it'll be a well-earned first gold medal for them in the men's Costas pair, the opening World Cup regatta of the 2011 series, and Italy get the silver, with Greece getting the bronze. Well, it was a good workmanlike performance. It was professional from start to finish from Great Britain, but they know really it will still be academic because one crew remains out there, the world champions.